Good morning, Planet Internet. Today is a very big day for me. I just finished uh, playing tennis from 7.30 to about 9. They're having a tournament right now, which we're supposed to go to. It's called the Sweetheart Tournament. But my sweetheart, who we could have actually done pretty good at this tournament, she has a severe case of the tennis elbow because she plays hard. I knew I married an athlete, but anyhow. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, uh, gonna go door knock now. I'm gonna hit two hours at the doors and then get on the phones and then that's my day. Tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday and I have a little party then. So I usually take off my shoes at tennis and I wear my little Crocs and then I've been leaving them to like cool down or just, I don't know, air out. And all of a sudden my car started stinking really bad. I'm like, man, my feet stink. Turns out I left something in my little trash can back there because uh, that was it. So my feet don't stink. Thank God my feet don't stink today. It might seem funny, but it's, it's smart. We use a scale to measure just how many I have for 100. 385, that should be 100 right there. Okay, I'm all showered and shaved, ready to go knock on the doors. It is 11 o'clock. Uh, Got to do two hours or 100, whichever comes first, and then come and get back on the phones. Join me as I go. I'm usually live. I do it live, by the way, guys, if you're real estate agents and you're curious. Most of the time, for most of the time, I'm live at YouTube, and then the replay is never there. But if you want to join me live and scripts, dialogues, all that stuff, because I wrote a book on door knocking, uh, youtube.com. If you're thinking about selling your house, you have a couple of key advantages in today's market. First of all, there are a few more homes for sale now than there were at this time last year. That means you have more options to choose from if you move, so you're more likely to find what you're looking for. And second, inventory is still low, so you have to price your house right and it will be in high demand. There just aren't enough homes for the market today to support the number of buyers who want to purchase them, so your house could sell pretty quickly. So with more homes to choose from, but still an overall shortage of listings, you might be in a true sweet spot. If you're ready to make a move, I can give you the expert guidance you need. So let's connect and so you don't miss out on the market that today has to offer. Thank you and have a great day. One of the first steps in the home buying process is getting pre-approved for a mortgage. In fact, one of the most important steps you definitely don't wanna miss, especially in today's market. Here's why. For starters, pre-approval from loan officers will help you understand how much you can borrow for your home loan. Knowing this makes it easier to determine what target budget you have and the price point when you put an offer on the house. A pre-approval also helps serious sellers know that you're a serious buyer. If you have questions about buying a home today or about the buying process, I can help you. Let's get together. So the goal is to knock about 100 doors or for two hours, whichever comes first unless I get hungry. <laughs> and so I didn't realize, but all of a sudden I was like, man, I am starving out here. I'm weak, I'm starting to get delirious. I think I should have put something in my stomach before I left, even if it was a little bit of oatmeal. So I got probably about 70 into it and uh, it was perfect. I you know, ended at a cul-de-sac, so the timing was okay. And it was a good enough excuse to get home. I'll get on the phones. But uh, I feel like such a loser. I should have brought a snack or something. Maybe I will next time. I'm in the middle of my calls and uh, we forgot that the Yorba Linda feed store had chickens. So I sent my daughter there to go buy some chickens. We needed more chickens. Turns out that, okay, fine with her boyfriend. Turns out that they didn't have chickens, but they had chicks. So now we are quickly constructing a home with a net and a box for our baby chicks to arrive. We're gonna raise baby chicks again. So we started by cutting two uh, sides of a cardboard like that. See that? Two sides of cardboard. Oh yeah, Star Wars names for sure. I already got them. Oh, what did you get? Oh, what is that? That's, what they oh, that's like a million that's pounds of it. Okay. Well. We'll give it to you. She's got a million where pounds of food. Where can you put it? It's oh, right there. It's fine. <laughs> that one's Kylo. That. that one's Kylo. That one's Padme. 
Padme. Ah, this one's mine. Oh, that one's mine. That's little baby chicken. And this one's Ray. Ray, Padme, Kylo. Mine's Kylo. Mine's Bib. Padme. Right. Mm -hmm. Kylo, you say? Kylo. Say hello. Ray, what kind of chickens are these? From? They are. They're good in there. The world comes in. Oh, there, boom. One of the first steps in the home buying process is getting pre approved for a mortgage. In fact, one of the most important steps you definitely don't want to miss, especially in today's market. Here's why. For starters, pre approval from loan officers will help you understand how much you can borrow for your home loan. Knowing this makes it easier to determine what target budget you have and the price point when you put an offer on the house. A pre-approval also helps serious sellers know that you're a serious buyer. If you have questions about buying a home today or about the buying process, I can help you. Let's get together. Okay, it's karate time. Let's get it to go to the television. Come on, stream it across the room. Let's go. Time to get started on a workout. Day 80 or something like that. Damn, making muscles. Kempo X, and what's this? What's this, yeah, like, uh, what is it, 90? Yeah, it's about day 80 somewhere in here. Here we go, Kempo X, check. And day 11, I did it again, another day. Same fire hard. Gotta finish my gallon and read my pages and take my photo, but I'm gonna do it. You know, I might love those little chicks. They're so cute in there and they're little warm. I got one true love right here. That's my baby right there, huh, baby? Yeah, you love, ah, come fight me, you little bitch. So my sweet little bird stat with me nicely as I book, checking off those 10 pages. Finished my gallon of water. Now it's time to go take a shower, take my before for the uh, 75 hard. Pretty much P90X and 75 Hard has me consistently sore every day for the last like 80 days. But I feel good. I know I don't feel good, I feel like shit.